the reason these quotes are in the front of this book is it's a book basically with no protagonist or nice guys. Everybody's greedy. There's not a good guy in the book. And I wanted to see how that played out. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me how it played out. Here are the quotes. The best things in life are free, but you can give them to the birds and the bees. I need money. In parentheses, that's what I want. That's Barry Gordy and Janie Bradford. Yet advice is numbered among the sins, but stupidity omitted. E.B. Barnum, Farnham, who is, I guess, a, a character from Westwood. Um, one of those things, one of those TV things, anyway, that I don't watch. There's sufficiency in the world <laughs> for man's need, but not for his greed. Mahatma Gandhi. Ambition is but avarice on stilts and masks. Walter Savage Lander. Greed is the inventor of injustice as well as the current enforcer, Julian Casablancas. Grandma said, boy, go and follow your heart and you'll find, you'll be fine at the end of the line and all that's gold isn't meant to shine. Don't you ever leave your one true, well, don't you and your one true love ever part, Bob Dylan. The only two things you can truly depend on are gravity and greed. Jack Palance. Anyway, so that we're reading a book about greedy people. Late summer here after a rainy year, even a cemetery becomes an unlikely place to keep dead people. Plastic flowers and granite headstones be damned. Everything green is a Welch poet's fuse and none of it acting embarrassed for the irreverence. Only the paranoid live oaks cringing away from the fickle Florida sky seemed to wear the somber situation. The afternoon rains had all but moved on, and now only big drops falling from the trees to thump on a funeral tent with no appreciative cadence. A tired pickup growled toward the tent and parked near an insensitive yellow backhoe. Two grave diggers inside the truck stuck to the seat, finished cigarettes, and watched a small group of mournful attendees in different stages of exit. The mourners moved between a man in an economical dark suit and a plastic wood grain coffin, bottom of the line job, and on to the waiting cars parked nearby. <coughs> Excuse me. The man with a cheap suit and a face full of nothing rose and began shaking hands, hugging people, general cons cons consolation shit. A red-toned black man, tall and dressed well enough, remained seated in the back row of folding chairs. He wore the disinterested, patient face of a sin eater, waiting, relaxed, with a leg on a knee. When everyone had drifted, the attending priest took the man in the suit by the shoulders and pressed some sincere words on him, hugged him, and turned to go. A few feet, the priest turned back, tossed one last bit of sacramental hoodoo at the cheap coffin, and moved away. The grave diggers dropped from the truck. One of them grabbed a square shovel from the bed, and both moved to stand just under the tent, out of the drift. The man at the rear acknowledged him. The grave diggers reciprocated. The man at the front sat again. From the back, he appeared to be looking off, looking at nothing. The good suit of clothes swiveled in his chair, getting at a pocket. He came up with a money clip, gripping some folded bills, peeled off a 20. He straightened the bill, placed it between his index finger and his taller neighbor, and leaned toward the closest grave digger, the 20, fluttering out there. Looks like my man here needs a few minutes. Think maybe you and your partner might go grab a six of what makes y'all grin? The grave diggers traded looks and shrugs, and the one closest grabbed the bill. Yeah, come on, we can work that. Come on, Earl. Earl and company had loaded into the pickup. The truck splashed off as it had come. The two remaining men sat silently while the occasional sun looked quietly between the clouds. A few minutes of that, the man by the coffin said, Thanks, Dupree, how you been? Been good, Marty, how you been? Good, man. It came too quick, and Shad Dupree grinned a small one at Marty Pell's back. Sure you have.